Hey guys, welcome back with another video with Linksy. Today we have a really short Siege of Athens and uh, hopefully we go get to enjoy it. So it is um, Arveni, Seleucid, Egypt versus uh, Gatii, Averachi and Carthage. We have two Sally out teams over here. We have the Noble Horse General from Gatii, uh, Iberian and Noble Cavalry from Averachi over on that side. Over on this side, Carthage is coming out Scutari Cav and a Noble Cav. So quite a bit of that. Battery Stingers on the walls over there. Uh, quite a lot of troops. Actually. Ooh! That's a really good charge into those Gallic Hunters. They're not going to really enjoy that fight over there. The artillery over here is moving around. Uh, shooting left, right and center. What's happening? Those Hellmen are not going to have fun time. Hellman, dead Gallic Hunters over here are really suffering the rat of those uh, Spear Horsemen. Quite nice. So let's see armor compositions. I mean, um, apart from the eight units of Tick Boys here. Oh, look how cute he's going to die soon. Um, more elephants over here. More elephants. Even more elephants. So Syrian Armored Elephants. We have African Elephants. African War Elephants. We have Indian War Elephants. Indian armored elephants. Dang, that's a lot of elephants. The Midian bowmen, of course, because they don't have the money to run anything else. Another uh, missile unit, Gallic Hunter unit here, over here, shattered by these spear horsemen. Doing a really good number on those troops. These guys are getting kind of surrounded, but uh, Iberian spearmen coming out and supporting them. Pilatro into the hillmen. And they're pretty much. I mean, they're pretty much the same, except the Iberian Spearmen are good against cavalry. The Spear Horsemen here slowing down the assault on the wall, charging into the rear of those Carrion Axemen. Uh, well, these guys are coming in for more. Uh, as we were saying that, there are Celtic Warriors up here that are not really assaulting the walls. Gorilla Warriors ready to lay a trap and more cavalry coming in. It seems cavalry is the name of the game. The defense is taking the assault quite heavily on the outside of the city. Lots of cycle charging over here. This unit of spear horsemen getting ridiculous amount of kills. That is that is quite something. They just killed half of that unit of hillmen in one go. These hillmen are charging in, but now they're getting slaughtered from behind by the Iberian spearmen. Something that shouldn't necessarily be happening. Gallic hunters coming out. More spear horsemen coming out. The artillery over here... Uh, Oh, this artillery was killed. What ki Oh! Oh, those Balearic Slingers getting a lot of kills. The Hillman Assault has been entirely stopped in its tracks. These guys are getting slaughtered, but now the Carrion Axemen are coming in with the support of the Chosen. And they're going to stop this artillery from shooting anymore. Uh, unfortunately, the artillery barely shot anything. Flaxman on the wall fighting Carrion Axemen. Technically speaking, that should be a really easy fight for the Flaxman. Because Carrion X-Men don't have really as much of a killing power except their Pila. Quite a strange unit to throw on the wall first thing. And uh, that unit of Carrion X-Men is actually going down quite fast. Naked Swords over here. More Spear Horsemen charges into more missiles. And this is 200 kills on a really cheap uh, horse unit. That is fantastic. And straight into the heart of the... For, uh, enemy force lines, mercenary Celtic wars charging into these hillmen, uh, ending the the poor carrier of those boys over there. But now these archers over here are getting some nice shots into those uh, Celtics. Uh, more spears over here, spe sorry, spear cavalry charging in, doing uh, wrecking havoc, wasting the thorax swords ammunition, and I think this is going to be their final charge. They charge into those Celtic warriors, doing a lot of damage there. Meanwhile, these. Uh, light archers are getting s struck down by the Belarix. Uh Just getting hit by pebbles at a fast rate is really going to hurt you. And um, will they take the walls finally? It seems they might. There's still a lot of cavalry that is uh, being flanked and uh, screened from the sides with Egyptian infantry and levy Tor spears. Uh, the old sworn general over there and some Celtic warriors. But again, that doesn't seem to be enough. If there, there needs to be a determined assault, it will happen. The Iberian cavalry over here, frenzy charge straight into the flank of that chosen swordsman over there. Uh, 
these chosen swordsmen and Celtic warriors are not going to have a fun time as they're getting off the wall. The, the siege towers, they're going to get uh, hewn down by the Iberians over there. There doesn't seem to be anything. So the defense is actually holding the assault from entering the settlement at all costs. Um, mostly because those elephants, once inside the city, can do a lot of damage. It's understandable that would happen. So they're holding them off. Holding this gate and these sort of away is going to be really important. As I don't see many units that can really do damage to those um, to those elephants inside the settlements. Apart from the uh, Cretan archers, of course, and the heavy Dacian bowmen, uh, which have decent armor and decent uh, missile, def uh, missile damage. So if they put them on berserk, it's going to do a lot. But of course... Um, yeah, as we were saying, this charge is going to happen. Spear horsemen charging into the these Celtic scorpions, uh, reducing it to rubble. Um, the rubble, well, reducing them, shredding them entirely. Lots of missiles being fired by these last Tor of Spears carrying axemen, which is wasting uh, the spear horsemen into nothing. Fire arrows by those uh, Gallic hunters. Uh, so these uh, cavalry didn't really do much, but they did use up a lot of ammunition and they killed more than half the Celtic Scorpion, which did a lot of damage. The Cretan archers and the medium bowmen over here were pulled back uh, for obvious reasons, since there was a... Yeah, as I was saying, the Egyptian infantry are not the best unit to hold over here. As the damage is quite massive. The wall is finally being taken down on over on this side. Unfortunately, these uh, Balearics are going to get taken down on the wall. Yep. That is quite unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Uh, they seem to be stuck on the wall. And one fourth of the unit entirely wiped out. Uh, they already have 180 kills. So most of their ammunition was used. The Iberian cavalry getting in... Uh, at the last second now there's a breach there's gonna possibly be a massive push into this area a libyan infantry holding the front lately being hoplite supporting them and scutari so this is going to be a kill box uh which is going to be very difficult to break through but at the same time the elephants might just do uh, if they are on a proper berserking rain page over there the flaxmen over here fighting the carrion axemen but they're getting peppered down by pila before they can uh, properly connect and the celtic war is coming in from the rear and they're gonna try and rear charge this carrion axemen which is at 40 kills quite uh, the kill count there considering the situation it's in Truly and truly, if the Dacian uh, heavy bowmen are here instead of these flaxmen. Did, did just KTI just get flaxmen? It seems he went pure flaxmen and Dacian heavy bowmen with two noble swords there. Quite ballsy move, I must say. Uh, yeah, the Dacian bowmen just placed one there, one here, would cover all of this quite easily. Uh, just hold the fort, uh, the staircases, and anything they put on the wall will go down. Carrion X-Men, more Carrion X-Men are pulling in. Okay, the elephants are coming in. The elephants are coming in. This might just be a massive mistake. Um, I'm not sure why these archers are firing into those Thorax swordsmen with fire arrows. Uh, the elephants just charging into the breach, completely getting annihilated by Pila. This is... Oh... This is not fun for those elephants. They're going berserk, yes, but they're not going to really do that much damage because the hoplite wall is holding and the uh, missile units are just peppering them down. This was t thoroughly well planned. I mean, it's even lagging out my computer. It, the frames are dropping to 30 frames. Uh, <laughs> just so many fire arrows. No, no, those are... No, the poor elephantos. Yeah, I, yeah, you better run. <laughs> Look how many elephants that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I mean, this guy just became a porcupine. Yeah, this guy became a porcupine. He tried to uh, cross species dress. I don't know. Um, role plays of porcupine. Yeah, more elephants are coming in. But again, they're met with just an unwavering amount of Pila arrows and just everything. Just the general unit is... I mean, it's still standing. I, I spoke too soon. I re this, is, this is unfortunate. 
I mean, yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. I can understand why it was the, the the replay was titled "Poor Ellie's." No fucking shit. They all died. Well, there are more elephants. Jesus Christ, there's so many elephants left. What? So, okay, they killed like two units of elephants, but there is another four coming in from this side, supported by Ducarian Axemen. And more elephants are coming, still coming in here. The Syrian armored elephants are getting charged by the brave Libyan hoplites. Which, honestly, I mean, this is a 270 gold unit versus a 1400 gold unit. So, I don't know. I, I don't know who's, who's winning at trading there. Yeah. It, oh boy, okay, these guys made it in. So if they get some momentum and charge into these battery axe slingers, uh, they're gonna get 10 kills before they get slaughtered down by the Flaxman and the Dacian Bowmen and the battery axe slingers and everything. Yeah, they're getting shot and uh, let's see how fast they start dropping. No, they're, oh, okay, they managed to make it in. They managed to make it in. Okay, they're inside the missile line, so they managed to... No, they, they're going for the Iberians, for the Pila, that's good. But you need more than one. This guy is going to get a lot of kills, but you need more than one of them. You need the others to spread out. You need pressure to be placed on this Fluxman and smash into the sides of these this formation as you charge in the remainder of your troops, whatever the remainder you have. What about these archers? These archers need to be brought in. Oh, boy. The elephants are going berserk again. Oh, no. They're going berserk over their own units. Oh, boy. No, 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 no. No! <laughs> That's it. It's done. It's GG. I can see why the game is so short. <laughs> the, the amount of uh, damage these elephants did is close to what a uh, Young Axis does. Actually, Young Axis are more cost efficient at this point. Um, elephants are just killing their own allies as they're trying to run out. They said, nope, nope, nope. Yeah, nope. Oh, at least this one is doing well. This one just got into the back lines. And is doing some sort of mumbo jumbo over here. And just running over all these Flaxmen, which they should have been doing earlier. Uh, fire arrows make them go berserk once again, so they cannot be really controlled. Uh, more bows just shooting at them. There's only so many arrows they can take before they die. And uh, Pila and the such. And yeah, this defense was impeccable. <laughs> considering, I don't even know what I'm going to title this video. Possibly, uh, crimes against elephants. Yeah, let, let's do that. Elephant extinction, something like that, which might, might be flagged as an appropriate, um, inappropriate marketing. But then again, at the same time, am I lying? Because look at how fast these elephants are melted. Okay, the elephants are pretty all gone. I mean, there is a couple running around rampaging in the rear lines. Um, but they're, 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 they're now fight. Oh, boy. Now the supporting troops are coming in a bit too late, though, because the formations are being set back up. Noble swords are being sent forward to plug in the gap. Scutaris are still alive. These Libyan infantry killed 36 elephants. These guys killed 12. These guys kill 10 elephants. When you kill 36 elephants, you know your units has been really effective. There's even more elephants! <laughs> There's still another unit. They're trying to bring it around through this side. But they're going to be met by Scutari Spears and Balearyx over there. Sorry, not Scutari Spears. Scutari Pila and Balearyx. These Oatsworn charging into these Scutari. But they're going to get to that Oatsworn sandwich over there. Uh, the... Gallic Hunters are getting murdered by the massive amounts of missiles. This is pure and absolute chaos. And genuinely speaking, this was a really fun match. And I say was because there's no way the attackers can pull this off from this situation. I mean, if they do, I'll be very surprised. But I cannot see them pulling them off. Pulling them off, Jesus. Pulling it off from the situation. Like, holy hell. I opened this replay with uh, copious amounts of skepticism, and now I realized that such skepticism should not have been used at all. So over here, these uh, Persian light archers are um, getting slaughtered quite extensively. More carrion expert over there getting slaughtered. There are still some troops over here which are finally being brought back into the fold, but yeah, the, the defense has 
pretty much gotten this quite easily. It was, it was quite a fun meme battle. Um, and I am sure the attackers could have done better with a... They, I'm sure the attackers knew better and could have gotten a much better army. But I, I appreciate the humor they tried to do. Uh, trying to take over Athens and build a zoo in the middle of Athens with their elephants. Which unfortunately now it's a uh, an elephant uh, cemetery. The... Uh, Okay, the Libyan infantry surrounding the Oatsworn general over here in a second or so, or the Chosen. Anyway, the complete surround of these forces is going to mean their doom and gloom. The elephants breaking through over on this side, and they're going to do quite a bit of damage over there. The Cretan archers over there are going to die. This formation of Thorax swordsmen, where are they? Because I cannot see them. Okay, they're ridiculously scattered all over the place over there. So that's why the cavalry was able to pass through. Just when units are that scattered, the parting goes really easy and they can pass through quite easily without uh, push pulling through. It, it, it's quite ambiguous, yes, but it's it's possible. It's very possible. But now the noble cavalry be 453 kills on that noble cavalry. Um, they're fed. They're going to kill all of these Numidian bowmen and then Persian light archers. Over here, the Scutari are engaged quite heavily there. The Oatsworn unit here is getting surrounded by Flaxmen, getting some charges uh, in, and most of the units are getting cleaned up. As we said earlier, this surround over here is happening quite extensively. There are some units on the wall that are fight firing, but it is very limited. Egyptian infantry getting charged by Scutari calf. The uh, Carthaginian general is coming in and is going to do a lot of damage there and noble cab this this battle though <laughs> jesus christ i've never seen elephants die that fast i genuinely never saw elephants die that fast flexmen doing their thing noble swords doing their thing i think all the flexmen are pretty much dead at this point no 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 there's still a unit of healthy flexmen over there some uh, iberian swords still alive and there's there's still reserves for the defense Dang. Okay, army loss penalties seem. Yeah, army losses have been triggered, and the defense has held the walls. Uh, well, has held the courtyard. Let's call it that. That was not a close victory. Let's see and replay. So, Peach Sasa, Madrid, and Greece uh, playing a fantastic battle there uh, against Marshal Zesty and Nightwolf. Uh, quite. <laughs> Jesus. Christ. I can see why there weren't more elephants because uh, Nightwolf was like. What are y'all playing at? I believe this was a, a random a random person while Marshall and Zesty were on voice chat. Oh, sorry, because something got stuck in my uh, throat there. Uh, while uh, Peach Salsa, Madrat, and Greece, I'm sure they were all, all chatting. Greece, 646 kills on his noble cavalry. <laughs> that is fantastic. That's really good. Uh, he got the most kills on his team. Uh, most uh, second most losses, uh, but that's mostly because Madrat just spammed Flaxman and nothing else, which is a questionable choice uh, in itself. But he did really well with his horse spear horseman at the start. Meanwhile, Peachy Salsa, um, Peachy Salsa, I like uh, spicy salsa more. Um, getting or nuclear salsa, uh, 186 kills on these uh, barriers, 196 on these. I'm sure he had more ammunition there. Uh, Archer's doing quite well, uh, considering they were shooting at elephants. His general and cavalry doing really well as well. Still had lots of reserves left, so he did well considering he took the blunt of the elephants. The elephants themselves from Marshall, uh, unfortunately, barely got any kills. He was the one who got slaughtered by <laughs> his elephants, decided to. Uh, uh, cos cosplay as uh, porcupines and didn't really go well. Meanwhile, the African elephants for Zesty getting that slight, slightly side charge over there from the second breach points, um, getting decent amount of kills because they did get into the rear of the missiles and getting a lot of kills on those missiles, doing quite a bit of damage. So that's quite interesting. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. This was a quite a short video, but intense one. I have never seen something like this on Rome. Uh, if you did enjoy it, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. It helps the channel grow. It's free to do as well. And if you want to have your replays covered, send them to me on Discord. Uh, join the Discord channel, put, post them there, or else totalwarbro.gmail.com. Send me an email with the replay file. With that said, guys, take care. I hope you're all well, and stay safe out there. Bye-bye.